so hey there and welcome back and I just want to say that being the self-respecting techno hoarder that I am I just bought a heat gun a Ginur heat gun or Ginur the model is TPK-PT004 and I got this thing of Amazon. I don't know if you can see all this uh, writing down here, but it says Ginor Technology, Ch Shenzhen, China, blah blah blah, something or other. So clearly it's a Chinese uh, device, but it's sold on Amazon, so it should, in theory, have, I don't know, good quality. So this is the unboxing experience, it's not much of a box and already it's broken, mine has been damaged somewhat, but eh, it's not relevant, you get the picture, sort of strange how it unfolds because it was supposed to come out like this, but it just got disassembled. So here it is, here's the user manual which I don't really care for. There's a warranty card and I'm curious as to what this warranty really represents. I don't know. I'll check it out later and maybe leave a comment on what the warranty actually is. And here is the device. And to be quite frank with you, I am a bit nervous as I haven't turned it on yet and I'm a bit fearful it will not work but we'll leave that for later I'll put it here in the corner and here are the accessories these are some uh, funnels and uh, air distributors so you can um, adjust the uh, heat wave as you desire it's supposed to, um, I don't know, this one is supposed to flake off paint and just for kicks I think we'll try this later on in the video so I can show you if it works or not. This is just a simple air uh, flow distributor or uh, I don't know, a sort of funnel. Here's another accessory, I don't know how it works. Put that there. Yeah, quite a professional, aren't I? And a couple of other tools, which... Oh, this one, I know what it does. This is supposed to be a paint remover. So first you blow heat on the surface and then you scrub it like this. So quite uh, self-explanatory there. I don't really know what this thing is, so I will reserve my judgment. Neither do I know what this does. It's I think it's supposed to go somewhere here or something like that. Anyway, it's of no relevance as this video is mainly to show if this gun functions, this heat gun functions, and if the Genur brand is actually any good or not. I'll leave the uh, more advanced uh, uh, reviews to the expert, the professionals. I just paid around 10 euros or so on this device, got it super cheap. Don't ask me how, don't ask me where, it's not straight out of Amazon, I just got it as a basement bargain. That's also the reason I don't know if it really works, so fingers crossed, let's look into it. I have prepared the power source here. Let's just unravel this cord and we shall see whether this blowgun actually works or not. And if so, does it work properly? I have prepared a few preliminary tests, so fingers crossed. Okay, it's working just fine and it has two positions here. So, first test, just a small piece of uh, plastic packaging from um, a light bulb, as you can see, a Philips light bulb. Let's see if this works, but safety first. Uh, 
a big uh, welder's glove and also this uh, tool so let's see a bit of uh, plastic backlight smoke here position one does it melt the thing yeah it sort of bends it and two yes so you see already the plastic is really getting shredded and forged that's enough because it's gonna break in my hand and i shall not be able to pick it up as this is wood so okay you can see the piece of plastic has whitened and it's fairly warm but it's not hot anymore so i don't risk burning myself next test a bigger piece of plastic and first of all i think it's a good idea that i open a window as quite a bit of smoke came out so yeah, we'll try to limit the amount of usage for this uh, for this uh, tool this is a thicker piece of plastic almost three millimeters so let's see how this works and level two will it bend yeah so already you can see it's sort of bended I shall not insist too much as this will smell bad afterwards. It's not hot on this side since plastic is not such a great uh, heat conductor, but here it's a bit warmer to the touch. So that's, that's done there. Let's just check out a piece of metal or an aluminum can and see what happens here. Already a couple of the bends and dilations to the plant, but it's also reflecting the heat and radiating it all over the place, so I shall stop. Anyway, the thing seems to be working just fine. One last test and we'll wrap it up. So this is an old drawer, a piece of an old cabinet, a piece of uh, set of furniture which I intend to um, recondition, hopefully. Now, first things first, this is actually um, a very light sort of timber. It's an evergreen, so it burns off quite easily. So hopefully I will not have any accidents. Uh, don't judge me too harshly if I haven't used the proper procedure and uh, yeah this sounds a bit cliche but don't try this at home I do it on my own responsibility so let's try it on I have attached this uh, kind of uh, flimsy looking uh, paint removal um, attachment or tool thing to the Genor blowgun so let's see if it works or if it's just for show the second speed second setting higher setting don't really see how this is working but so i'm getting mixed results in the end it is working as you can see the paint is getting shredded and melted uh, but the price section itself let me just end this segment here so the price section itself here is a bit soft and will not withstand the leverage needed to push the gun along though you could heat up the paint and just remove it by hand with a piece of um, i don't know what the tool is called the paint removal tool so i guess 
That is a quite a relevant and conclusive first test of the Genor TPK-PT004 heat gun. It works at 220 to 240 volts for U European um, outlets and uh, electrical systems and it has 2000 watts, 2 kilowatts first setting goes to 350 degrees with 250 liters of air per minute capacity I suppose and second uh, setting is at 550 Celsius 550 Celsius degrees at a density or output of 550 liters of air per minute which I think it sounds quite good at least for a hobby device or a hobby tool. The length of the cable is 1.8 meter and I really do appreciate the strengthening here which is usually where the devices, where such devices like this break off and this uh, other uh, side of the outlet is pretty resistant as well. So no worries there. I do you think it's a good value for money? It's a great hobby project for paint removal on wood and other surfaces and I don't know, heating up phones if you um, care to venture in replacing AMOLED screens or stuff like that, which I could do in theory, but my essay, but I'm actually a bit concerned that I might not handle such a delicate job. Hence the rather crude demonstration I made. But anyway, for 10 euros what I paid for it, it's a great acquisition and a great hobby tool. So thanks for watching and remember, I buy old quirky and obsolete tech so you don't have to. See you in the next one. Bye bye.